The AoE is not actually bad. Okay, here we go. Boss time. some goosebumps uh guys this is the build this is the freaking build this is it the he just got deleted bro what's up everybody war here welcome back to the channel we have finally 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 we bringing back the honor restored to the druid build this thing is absolutely insane i want to give a huge shout out to my community live on stream we workshop this build and it is amazing okay so let's go over everything that you're going to need so this is a earth-based landslide build we are doing everything in landslide this this skill just absolutely just is it's a crit city we're destroying everything so First thing we're gonna take is Storm Strike, guys. Uh, the reason that we're taking Storm Strike is because we have a um, 25 or a 15% chance to immobilize all enemies for three seconds. So we have the Enhanced, which gives us the Immobilize, and then we're taking Fierce Storm Strike. So we have a 50% chance to make them vulnerable. This build is all about immobilizing, stunning our enemies, so we get increased damage and increased critical strikes. Okay, so while we when we're hitting with us a storm strike, we get the increased uh, chance to immobilize and the vulnerable damage for 24 20 percent more damage. Then we're going to come down. We're taking landslide five points into landslide. Then we're going to be taking enhanced landslide. So that way, while we're doing uh, damage to enemies four times, they get immobilized for four almost four seconds. But the real kicker on this is Primal Landslide. When we immobilize or stun an enemy, we get a Terramote, which enemies hit by Landslide consume a Terramote, causing us to get a guaranteed critical strike, dealing 40% critical strike damage. Bosses always have up to a 10% chance to grant one. So when we hit with Storm Strike, we immobilize them, we get a Terra Emote, we hit with Landslide, Landslide and just decimate. Okay, now we have a lot of extra you know like prefixes that we're going to take this build is very spirit heavy along this druid is just is so we took heart of the wild for to increase our maximum spirit by nine then we're taking all three points in that we're taking three points in abundance basic skills generate 30 percent more spirit this is huge then we have wild impulses our core skills deal 15 percent more or cost 15 percent more spirit but we deal 30 percent increased damage so with this build we take these three away this costs 27 and when we max it out we go to 31 so we gain 30 percent more damage for four points of spirit cost in landslide this is a huge sacrifice but it really isn't at the same time you're talking about four spirit to gain to gain 30 percent more damage it absolutely destroys the board so we have three points in each of those down to our defensive skills we are taking earthen bulwark this is the best defensive skill that the uh druid has we get a rock uh surround us for three seconds giving us a barrier barrier and fortifying us we're only taking one point in this that's all that we need the fortify comes in later now know. coming down to Pretty one easy. of the key skills for the build guys is vine creeper we summon vines and it instantly immobilizes them for 2.3 seconds the poison damage is irrelevant we don't care all we care about is immobilizing our enemies Mobilizing them for almost two and a half seconds. Did you see how fast I killed our, that guy? Our critical strike damage guarantees it, and then we were able to just demolish the board. So one point in vines. Then we come down. We're going to take one point in trample, just to be unstoppable and to get around the map a lot faster. Then we're taking three full points into crushing earth. Earth skills deal 15% increased damage to slowed, stunned, immobilized, or knockback enemies. Our enemies are going to be slowed stunned or immobilized almost a hundred percent of the time so this 15 percent increased damage is always going to be there next we take safeguard critical strikes with earth skills fortify us 
okay so we should always be hitting with critical strikes which gives us fortify the reason that we want fortify is because we have a item in our boots is that while we're fortified we all of our earth skills gain two ranks this is very important that's why you see seven on landslide and you see four on earth and bulwark so now we just absolutely decimate now one key note here guys with this build is that we get one free vine creeper because of an item if you do not have an item to give you uh, the free point vine creeper you take it away from crushing earth now you're doing 10 instead of 15 percent but then you take the one point and vine creeper so you have it this is a key thing that you need it's great for going up against mobs and it's super important against the the boss which you'll see later so we have that then we come down with our very last point and we're going to take one and petrify Petrify encases all enemies in stone, stunning them for three and a half seconds. We deal 25% increased critical strike damage to enemies affected. So the reason this is so good is because this is going to stun them. We gain 25% increased critical strike. That stacks on top of Landslide, which is 40%. So now we gain 65% increased critical strike damage against all those enemies. Now, here's what gets even better. Now we, against the boss, the critical strike damages bonus is increased to 50. So now the 50 plus the 40, now we're doing 90% guaranteed critical strike damage against the boss. Now I have tested this using the ultimate and not using the ultimate. You defeat the boss just as fast. Both of them work very, very well. It does not matter. We are two and three shotting bosses. It's insane. So that is everything that you need for the build, guys. We're going to fight this boss, and we're not going to be using the Petrify, right? We're not doing that. Just to test it. Right? That's what we're doing. Just to see. Believe that was the deal. Damn, what's up? Socrates, yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the deal, right guys? We're we're gonna fight, we're gonna kill the boss without using the ultimate. Is that what we're doing? Because we know that using the ultimate we deal a crap ton of damage. Before I kill him, is that is that the agreed consensus here, guys? That's what we're doing. Yep, let's let's do it. Let's try it. Okay. All right, you ready? Here we go. Whew. All right, this is the build. Now, let's go over items because this build is... I don't want to say it's heavily dependent on legendary uh, prefixes, but you definitely need a few to make it really, really strong. So the main one that you're going to need is landslides, earth pillars, each strike an additional time, which is twice, dealing an additional 12% damage per hit. We got the absolute roll, lowest roll on this, which is okay, but 12% extra damage and an additional land strike, which will crit, is a lot of damage. So that's huge. Next. You have to have this. This is a pretty common one. I found about five of these powers. When you're fortified, you get two skills in earth. This is huge. This makes you super strong. All these other ones are just extra. One combination that I really like is this. Damaging enemy, elite enemies as grants you a barrier. Absorbing damage, which is good. But while we have a barrier, we deal 40% more damage. This gives us a barrier when we fight an elite or a boss. And then earth and bubble gives us a barrier. So we should almost be at 40% increased damage half the time. Next, we have a few things that kind of help us with our attack speed to help maintain our spirit generation. We have critical strikes with core skills increase our attack speed by 28%. Our landslide is our core skill. We're always gonna be critting with this. So the 28% is always gonna be on. Next, we combined it with our basic skills grant 26% attack speed. So now we're gonna be at a 54% increase attack speed when we right after we crit for three seconds. This really, really helps keeps our spirit alive so we can landslide more. 
After that, damage from Earth Cell Earth Skills automatically slow. This is very good, but it doesn't really give us the full damage, although it does help out a little bit. This one, the crowd control is just fine. And then, of course, this is another cool one that we've tested. Castings and Storm Skill grants us 39% more critical strike damage. So if we hit with this, we get 40% more critical strike damage for four seconds. So if you hit the boss with this, not only do we go to 90%, now we go to 130 percent then the next and then it's really good but then casting an earth skill gives us a critical strike chance for our storm skills that's not really why we're wearing it we're wearing it for the 40 percent increased critical strike damage for earth skills which is going to happen all the time with landslide so those are the items i would say you don't really need the combination here although it really helps the attack speed is also very good but the, the build works without it but if you do have those that's added but i guarantee you guaranteed you have to have this and you have to have this otherwise the build will not work okay everything else is just kind of support but this is the build guys this is our druid landslide build that we workshop here with the community big shout out to them thank you guys so much get out there test this crush enemies it's absolutely fantastic you guys are going to see us fight the boss it's amazing so like the video if you guys have enjoyed it comment down below what do you guys think? And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.